Good afternoon and thank you everyone for attending today's hearing of the City Council Transportation Committee. My name is Idanis Rodriguez and I'm the chair of the committee. We are joined today by my colleague, Council Member Garoni, Vaca, Ching, Rose, Constantinides and Menchaca, and, and my great friend and colleague, Council Member Salamanca, who also his bill will be voting in this committee today. First, before I read my opening statement, and also joined by a great colleague and leaders in our city, Council Member David Greenfield. Before I opening, read my opening statement, I want to welcome my nephew, Eric Johnny Rodriguez, who is visiting us from Orlando, and after doing like a two-week summer camp in D.C. internship program, now he's trying to learn as much as possible how we do policy in New York City. Today we will be voting on three bills, aim of, and of improving the safety and well-being of New Yorkers, as well as adding transparency in communities across the city. To start, we will vote on intro 671-A, which will require the DOT to install pedestrian countdown clocks at all intersections near schools and parks. This bill introduced by Council Member Ballon will provide new layer of safety for kids he heading to and from school in their local parks. I'm proud to support this bill and I encourage a yes vote as we will be voting this bill together with the others. Next, we will vote on intro 1234-A introduced by Council Member Salamanca, which will require notice to, communi notice to community boards before meter parking is installed in a new neighborhood. This will provide greater transparency to decision making and allow for community input on meter parking. Council Member Salamanca will address this bill in a moment and I also encourage a yes vote on this bill. Finally, we will vote on intro 1646-A introduced by myself and another council members, which will require all four high vehicle companies to include a tipping option on whatever median riders choose to book a car. For a long time, some of the largest companies operating in our city did not include an ability for passengers to tip their drivers in the app they use to book the ride. Meanwhile, taking, I'm sorry, taxis and green cab drivers have long enjoyed the ability to receive tips for their work on the passengers facing payment option using the taxi TV screens. Thanks fully, uh, other app services, including Lyft, uh, have also employed this practice to the benefit of the drivers. This bill not only helps to bring parity to the industry, it helps to restore dignity to drivers who have experienced a race to the bottom of the wage and working conditions in the industry. As a former livery uh, driver myself, I know the value of earning a few extra dollars for, for every ride. This money soon stacks up and helps all those working to make a living and support their family. At the end of the day, we don't want driving a car in New York City to be a gig where workers are left to the whims of the market. We want to ensure that this remains a profession for all those who want to make a career out of driving a car and raising the family to be the next middle class. With this law, we will ensure a new standard for the industry and became a model for the rest of the country on this measure. Drivers deserve the dignity of being able to earn a living through driving and I'm proud to support this effort. I want to thank the Independent Drivers Guild and, and all those who have pushed to make this a reality. I also want to thank the staff who work on this bill, as well as my committee staff, Council Faisaf Malik, Policy Analyst Jonathan Maserano, and Emily Rooney, Finance Staff Shima Obicheri and Bracton, Bracton West, as well as my staffs, Jose Luis and Rosa Murphy, and Stefan Emiliano. And I now would like to call my colleague, Council Member Menchaca, to speak about on his bill. I'm sorry, Salamanca. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you speak on my bill too. Thank, thank, uh, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chair, um, uh, for the opportunity and for the support. Want to thank my colleagues as well. Uh, just wanted to speak briefly. You know, this bill—it's—it's it's a year in the making. 
Um, prior to being a council member, I was a district manager. And we saw many times when the city of New York, the Department of Transportation, would just come up, just pop up and install a muni meter without properly um, advising uh, the local uh, community board or the community as a whole. Uh, when I first became a council member, I experienced that as well, where we did get notice about a muni meter being installed. I gave opposition. The borough commissioner guaranteed me that that muni meter would not be installed, but the following week the muni meter was installed. So immediately I, I, we needed to bring some type of transparency to this process, and that's exactly what this bill does. It, uh, it, gives, it requires that the Department of Transportation properly notify the local community board and the council members. Now, this bill does not give us veto power, but it gives us an opportunity where, if requested, the Department of Transportation has to come to that local community board and make a formal presentation, and recommendations will be put in. And uh, that gives the, the community the power, or it gives them the opportunity to object to a muni meter uh, if, uh, if necessary. So I urge my colleagues to please uh, vote in favor of this bill. Thank you. And I will now like to call our committee clerk to call the roll, and I recommend a yes vote on all bills. William Martin, committee clerk, a roll call vote, Committee on Transportation. All items are coupled. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. <coughs> Excuse me. Garodnik. Aye. Vaca. I vote aye, and I would like to be added to 1234. Chin. I vote aye, and I would like to be added to uh, intro 671A. Thank you. Rose. I vote, vote aye, and I would like to be added to intro 1646A. Greenfield. I vote aye, and would like to be added to 1234 and 1646. Constantinidis. I vote aye. Menchaca. Aye on all. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Okay. And this hearing is adjourned. I'd like to explain my vote. <laughs>